What's happening? This your man, Chris Watts. You already know off top, we got to give God the glory. You know I got to recognize my queen, Allie Watts, and my three beautiful girls, Antoinette and Elise and Alexia. So for today's prophetic word for today, your nine number prophetic word for the day, I want to talk about Daniel. Going to Daniel chapter six and your prophetic word for today. What I'll be talking about in this video for today is simply this. Their pettiness can't stop your promotion. <laughs> I know y'all sitting back when y'all heard that title. Y'all got to look closer to the phone and say, Ooh, I know this is going to be sweet, good, and tasty. Their pettiness can't stop your prosperity. Let me get to this real quick. And I, and I got to use my wife phone because I want to read these scriptures. So I might be a little lengthy today, but it's going to be good. And I'm going to try to make it quick. I promise you. So Daniel chapter 6, start with verse 1. It says this. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 princes, which should be over the whole kingdom. And over these three presidents of whom, of whom Daniel was first, that the princes might give accounts unto them, and the king should have no damage. Then this Daniel was preferred above all the presidents and princes. Now, I can stop right there and tell you that you are in the season of being preferred. You keep walking it out. You keep being faithful. The season of being preferred is upon you right now. You just hope, I can, I, can, I can go on and on about that, but you just stay faithful. You're about to be preferred. It says, then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. My goodness. It says, let me, let me, let, let me put my, let me put my brakes on my car, pull in this parking lot and park on this real quick. It says, Daniel was preferred and the king thought to set Daniel over the whole realm. Why? Because it says an excellent spirit was in him. Now you have to understand that there are many ingredients to favor. In the book of Proverbs, it talks about how love can be an ingredient for favor. How um how uh, uh, uh faithfulness, letting love and faithfulness be be bound to your neck, how that can be an ingredient to uh favor. But here we see another ingredient to favor. It says, now why was Daniel preferred above all the others? Why was why did the king think to put Daniel over the whole realm? Because an excellent spirit was in him. My first point I want to tell you that when it comes to the ingredients of favor, you have to understand that sometimes the favor is in the excellence. Some of you, you wonder why you're not seeing the, the totality of God's favor on your life. Could it be because you're not walking in the excellent character? Could it be that you're not walking in an excellent attitude? Could it be that you're not treating people in the spirit of excellence? Now, when I say excellence, I'm not talking about being perfect, that every Everything is right. Everything is 100. All the boxes are checkmarked. But what I mean is that it is it is with a spirit of excellence. Your heart and your intent is to do everything right and to do it by the book. In the Greek, in the Hebrew and Greek, that word excellent means supreme. It means preeminent. And you know what that means? That means very distinguished in some way. That means Daniel set himself up to be very distinguished apart from the other people, which is what caused the king to put him over the whole realm because he was distinguished. Could it be that the reason God can't set you up is because you refuse to be set apart? Who am I talking to? I want to blow the horn, but the lady walking by with her purse on might look at me like I'm crazy. Could it, read it, could it be that you're not doing anything to distinguish yourself? Could it be that you're not doing anything to set yourself apart from everybody else? It says it says that Daniel had an excellent spirit in him. There was something about Daniel that was way much more different than the other presidents and the princes. You're wondering why you can't get that promotion at the job. Baby, you keep showing up five minutes late. And some of you, I know I'm stepping on some time. I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I'm just trying to help you. You wonder why you can't get the promotion for the job. You wonder why you're not getting the awards. You're showing up late every day. Or you're supposed to be at work at 8 o'clock and you're showing up at 8 o'clock. In the military, they say if they, if you are on time, then you are late. You wonder why you can't get the job. You're taking 5, 10 minutes extra on the lunch break. You know you're supposed to be back at 12 o'clock and I've been guilty of it, baby. Come on, who am I talking to? You have to set yourself apart. You have to be distinguished. The Bible says Daniel had an excellent spirit in him. Sometimes the favor is in the excellence. But look what it says. Look what it says. I got to type in my passcode again. Look what it says. Look what happened after the king thought to set Daniel up. And we finna get to some pettiness right here. It says this. 
It says, then the presidents and the princes, the very people Daniel was uh, 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 set apart over. It says, they sought to find an occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they couldn't find none. They couldn't find no error. They couldn't find any. Ain't it funny how the moment when you find your future is the moment that people try and find fault? Who am I? You better preach, watch. Who am I talking to right now? The moment you find your future, the moment your future begins to come to you, the moment you become aware of the prosperity that God is getting ready to take you into, then the people want to try to find any and all type of ways to try to stop your promotion and your prosperity. All of a sudden, they are the pettiness begins to come up all of a sudden. As long as you're not doing nothing, everybody come on. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me take this thing down to a 100 relatable. Y'all know about the crabs in the bucket, a whole bunch of crabs. Crap in the bucket mentality. As long as you're not doing anything greater than them, oh, they speaking to you, baby. They dapping you up in Walmart. They texting you. They liking, loving. They ain't sharing all your posts on so social media. But soon as success comes to marry you, people find a reason to divorce you. Who am I talking to? I got a guy pulling buggies right now. He looking at me in the car. And I'm just throwing him to do something. What's up, baby? It's funny that by, by, as soon as success comes to give you its hand in marriage, people want to divorce you. The people weren't caring nothing about Daniel to the king sought to set him over the whole kingdom. Then they pettiness begin to arise. Who am I talking to? And you want to know why? Because your greatness has a way of exposing their average. God, don't. They didn't have no, they didn't have no fault against Daniel until it was time for him to prosper. As soon as success comes to give you his hand in marriage, people want to divorce you. They want to take you to Judge Judy. They want to take you to Judge Ross, Judge Maybelline. Only reason I know all them shows because my wife watching them and then I get caught up in watching them too. As soon as success finds you, then people want to leave. Why? Because they, people cannot stand to see prosperity and greatness come alive in others because they know that they're refusing to step out and accomplish their greatness. They didn't find no fault in Daniel until Daniel began to find his future, until his future found him. You have to understand that their pettiness is going to lead to your promotion. Let me get this thing on and popping even more. Look what it says. It says this. It says that they couldn't find no fault in Daniel except for in the law of his God. Ain't this funny how when people can't find no way to attack your character. They can't find nothing against your, uh, 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 your morals. They can't find nothing against your actions because you do everything such excellent. Then they want to attack your spirituality. Then they want to attack your belief in God. Ain't this funny how, how you're getting, you're, the boss setting you up over everybody. You get promoted at work. Next thing you know, the boss is just saying nobody can be off on Sundays no more. Because the co-workers have conspired to make sure that you can't go to church on Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Ain't it funny how all of a sudden you go into work and your normal routine is to play your gospel music, Pandora, listen to God, you know, hear them play a little, you know, little video clip. But now all of a sudden the boss is saying we can no longer play gospel and listen to his inspirational videos because it, it affects other people's beliefs. They didn't have no problem with it until the manager started setting you above them. The only thing people can find wrong against you is when it's in the law of your God. But I'm I'm here to tell you if you stay faithful and don't compromise their pettiness is gonna lead to your promotion so this is what they did as i began to paraphrase they said let's come up with a plan to stop daniel they said what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up with a decree to tell the king that if anybody asks any other man or any other god besides you king uh to petition any request from any other god besides you king you got to throw them into the lion's den so one day came where they found daniel praying to god and they went and told the king. And because the king made the decree, he has to stay bound to his decree. So in short notice, in paraphrasing, the king said, because of this decree, Daniel, I got to put you in the lion's den, although I really don't want to. So the king threw Daniel in the lion's den. And the king, he really loved Daniel. But because of his decree, he had to do it. And the Bible says the king cried that night. He fasted. He was praying, hoping that God would deliver Daniel. So early that morning, the king got up. He ran to the den. And I'm going to the scripture all the way down. He came to the den to check on Daniel to see if God delivered him. And look what it says. It says he came to the den, verse 20, Daniel 6. He cried with a voice unto Daniel, and the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God whom thou servest continually able to deliver thee from the lions? Then all of a sudden the king heard a voice. And it wasn't a talking Mufasa or Scar. No, 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 no. This wasn't the lions that were talking. The king heard the voice that says, Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. And Daniel told the king, he said, King, 
My God delivered me. He sent his angel to shut the mouths of the lions so they did no harm to me. What am I trying to tell you? Can you imagine when Daniel was getting ready to get thrown into the lion's den? I can only imagine Daniel seeing the lions. And lions by nature, by, by looking at them, they are intimidating. Real big, the big man, you know, king of the jungle. Their presence is intimidating. But Daniel said, you threw me in, but the angel came and shut the mouths of the lion. What am I trying to tell you? Although Daniel was in the presence of the lions... And and although their presence was strong, their power was null and void. Woo! Let me break this down like Kit Kat bars. Some of you, you are in the presence of poverty. But God has shut the mouth of poverty to where the power of the poverty is not affecting you. Who am I talking to? You know you broke as a joke and you got five insufficient funds in your mailbox from Wells Fargo. But your faithfulness and your faith in God is still at an all-time high. Although the presence of the poverty is strong, the power of the poverty has been shut down by God. You are in the presence of people's pettiness and out of the presence of their pettiness is strong, the power of their pettiness has been shut down. Why? Because you are not responding to their pettiness. You are in the presence of being attacked and although the enemy attack is strong, its power is null and void. Who am I talking to? Daniel was in the presence of the lions and the presence was strong, but the power was null and void. It was obsolete because God came and shut it down. God is getting ready to shut some things down in your life. Although you are in the presence and everything is trying to come against you and the presence is strong, but the power is null and void. God is shut it down, shut it down. And you wonder why you still living and breathing. And, we, and, and you wonder why people say why we say you don't look like what you've been through because although what you've been through its presence was strong its power was null and void and it had no effect on you 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 let me get ready to end this thing y'all so the bible goes on to say the king pulled daniel out of the lion's den and the very men that threw daniel into the lion's den the king threw them into the lion's den let me let you know one thing right now the the god is setting this table up that the poison that your enemies tried to feed you they now gonna have to eat the very word curses they spoken over you they are now gonna have to eat it who am i talking to right now you have to understand that the the, the people that conspired against daniel their pettiness their backstabbing ended up backfiring and i'm here to tell you that everybody that has backstabbed you, it's about to backfire on them. The very people that tried to set you up, God is getting ready to set them down. Because of the favor and the mandate is upon your life. And the Bible says after all that happened, that Daniel prospered in the reign and in the region of the king. Their pettiness could not stop his promotion. Who am I talking to? Let me get up off this thing. It's going strong for 13 minutes and I'm getting hot. I just wanted to encourage you today that their pettiness cannot stop your promotion. Sometimes the favor is in the excellence. You keep on being excellent. You keep on being preeminent and supreme, meaning to be distinguished. Set yourself apart. Don't just do the normal five-minute prayer when I wake up in the morning. Pray and talk to God throughout the day. Don't just fast when it's at the beginning of the year. and We got to do the Daniel fast. Although that is good, fast throughout the year. Read your word more than the average. Set yourself apart. So God can set you up. Be distinguished in your walk with God. Be distinguished in how you treat people. Be distinguished in how you talk to people. So that favor can come down your street. Knock on your door and marry itself to you. Don't worry about people finding fault. And their pain is coming to find you. You keep walking along in your future. Don't worry about the text. Although the text may be strong. It's power is weak. It can't affect you. Don't worry about what people do. God got a way of taking care of your battles. You just remain consistent in your faithfulness, walking out God's will for your life, and how you treat people. I just want to come and tell you today, their pettiness cannot stop your promotion. This isn't the beginning. This is forever together. It's not never. Dream big, work hard, and live easy. We'll see you next time. Peace.